Okay, since a lot of you want me to make another racing game, I will make another racing game. So as usual, I'll just create 3D project. I'll just name it YouTube Racing, I guess, and hit create. Okay, now we have a empty scene. And uh, right away, what we're going to do is try to sort out everything that we're going to need. So the very first thing that we're going to need is the cars, obviously since we're creating a racing game. So, so what I'm going to do is create a new folder and call it just course. Inside the course, what we're going to need is another folder called meshes maybe, and that's it. So we're going to come back to this in a minute. And the next thing that we're going to create is a scripts folder. So I'm not going to create a scripts folder since I'm going to use the essentials. I'll provide this the video description i hope or maybe i'll do a github link so this is some empty scripts that will allow us to create the game just a little bit more easier so i'll import this and i'll show you why i need this so what we have in here is a very simple editor here i'll open it up right now and what the editor does is actually empty it just has a placeholder for the core game object which we'll use later so why i need this so I need this because it already contains a menu item, it contains this slide which is necessary, and it contains this block of code, which makes it easier to just maybe create a public string, string, and then to display the string, what we do is just display value. The only thing wrong with this is that it contains a string, so we need to copy paste and if we save this we should have a empty string and there we go we have an empty string that will hold a specific string okay we don't need that right now what we need is the input constants the input constants contains a lot of strings which we'll be using later input handler what we'll do what this will do is just read the input which we'll use of course later and then we have this late executor. I don't know how this works. I just know how to use it. We'll use it later. Okay, the very first thing that I want to do in this episode is create a game object. So first I'll create a folder and call it core. Inside the core, I'll create a script called game manager. And if you spell this correctly, it should display this gear. So what I want in this is very simple. I'll call this game manager as well. Always remember to reset it to zero and just drop in the script. So, so if you're new to scripting, this is your script. Obviously, it has a start, an update. I'm going to delete them both. And what I want is to just display the current core. So public game object current car i'm not going to use this i'm just going to try and display this in the inspector view so if i save this we should have a game object current car if we create a car obviously reset this and drop it in we have a reference to this car so now if we want to start the game so so this start executes when we press this play button what i want to demonstrate is Maybe we want to set this car into the starting point. So how do we do that? Obviously, we have this play button. If we press the play, this will execute. And that's all we need. So the last thing that we need is a starting point. So the way to do that is just start point transform. And we can just define a transform start point transform. And we can comment this this is used to replace the car on start there we go and the simple line in here is just to set this car into this position very simple what we can do start actually current car transform position actually with lowercase t transform dot position is equal to start dot position 
This should work. I don't know why my IntelliSense is not working. Okay, now we have a starting point. What I'll do is create a starting point. And let's create a simple sphere in here. This is going to define our starting point, And this is going to define our car. So what I'll do, drop in starting point, And we already have a car. If we play, this car should go in here. And there we go. The car is inside this. Okay, that's a very brief introduction on what we're going to do. So what I want you to do in the comments is drop down what car we should be using as a starting car and then we can work our way up from there.